it's Zach's first time ever riding the Harley. Good morning, YouTube. All right, guys, the time has finally come. We are ready to head to Daytona Beach for Bike Week 2024. As you see, the bikes are loaded up. Katie and Michaela are in there packing in the groceries and the last minute stuff. Uh, it's about 10 till three in the afternoon right now. I'm gonna go start Goliath up here, close up the doors, and then we should be able to roll out hopefully in the next 20 minutes or so. Alright guys, about five minutes after three, did my final walk around check of the lighting. Airbags are aired up, chains are off the ground. Girls are just about finished inside. We are almost ready to roll.
All right, guys, only about 100 miles into the trip, but we needed fuel. I never fueled Goliath up before we got home, coming from uh, Texas last year. So we were we were down to a little less than a quarter of a tank when we left the house. It's been about 100 miles. Go ahead and stop, top it off. It will be good all the rest of the way to Daytona Beach. I pick here because we're in Jasper, Georgia now at the racetrack. And if you follow the channel for a while, you know we stop here pretty often. One, because it's a nice clean store, clean restrooms, and they've also got really good coffee. And typically the price per gallon on fuel is a little bit cheaper here than most of the areas around us. All right, while he's fueling up, I'm going to uh, clean the outside of the windshield. I cleaned the inside with glass cleaner just before we hit the road. Um, actually, I did it like three, four days ago, but it's done. And remember, we washed Goliath coming through Atlanta on the way home from Texas. So he's really not that dirty. A little bit of dust and stuff from sitting in the gravel parking lot, but there's no road grime. Doesn't look terribly bad. So um, usually we've got a crew that'll come out to the speedway and wash the truck when we get out there. But for right now, I just want the windshield nice and clean. All right, so right now it's only about a quarter after five. And we're actually ahead of schedule, but behind schedule. So we're ahead of schedule because typically when we do this trip, we don't leave till six, seven, eight o'clock at night. And we just get through Atlanta, stop someplace down near Macon or even Jackson and get some rest. Just get through Atlanta on a Sunday night where there's no traffic. But today we tried to leave at two. We didn't leave till three. And that's why I said we're actually running late, even though we're ahead of our normal schedule. Anyway, we're done here. I've got my coffee, $533 worth of fuel. Time to get back on the road. Well, as soon as I got done saying that, I was walking past the front of Goliath and I smelled a whiff of engine coolant and the freeze. So I popped the hood and I uh, took a look. Level's fine. There's no signs of overheating. I also don't see any signs of any leaks. So now keep in mind, he was working hard. We're just now coming out of the mountains. So there's a lot of up and downs. Hopefully it's nothing, but I'm gonna keep my eyes open.
stopped at the Loves here. Uh, I think we're exit 151 or 157, something like that. So we're south of Macon, but we're not quite to Warner Robins yet. But I just wanted to stop, go through, check all the tires, you know, do a quick walk around, make sure everything looks good. Plus I had to pee, and I think I'm due for some more coffee. All right, so after a quick circle check, everything is looking good. Uh, the cabinet in the trailer keeps popping open. I need to come up with a better latch for that, but other than that, everything is staying in its place. I even checked our wheel right here that we replaced that seal on. I don't see any oil coming out of it. I don't smell any coolant now. You know, it's been another 150 miles or so, maybe more. And uh, maybe, just maybe, whoever was at that gas pump before me spilled some coolant or something or had an issue and it was just in the air right there because I smell nothing now. I'm not having any overheating issues. I didn't actually shut the truck off and check the level, but there's nothing leaking out of it. There's nothing that looks like we have an issue and I don't smell it anymore. So I'm just not too concerned about it. All right, but that's it. It's only about quarter till eight. Well, it wasn't when we stopped. So it was probably 10 till eight, eight till eight, something like that now. So still fairly early. We're gonna get back on the road go a little bit further. trying to get through the corner and had a little boo-boo. Yep, looks like somebody done guided to somebody right there. And of course they're blocking the whole driveway. I don't know if I can make it through there or not. All right, I was just barely able to sneak by that, but I made it by it, that's all that counts. You can see how stacked up all these trucks are here. That's not giving me good feelings of uh, finding a place to park when we get down towards Lake Park, but all we can do is try. Well guys, we made it. Not bad time either. It's only about 10.30 at night and we are here at exit number two in Lake Park, Georgia. So we are two miles from hitting the Florida state line on Interstate 75. So I think we made pretty good time. And from here, we're only about three, maybe three and a half hours from Daytona Beach. So far, everything on the trip has gone really smooth. No issues, uh, everything is just good the way it should be rather boring for the most part but boring is kind of good when it comes to things like this
And like I said, right now it's only about 10.30 at night. So I'm hoping we can uh, get this video edited real quick, get an upload started, be in bed by 11, maybe 11.15, get a good five, six hours of sleep, get back up around 5, 5.30, be on the road by 6. We might actually be able to be in Daytona Beach by 9, 9.30 in the morning. I don't have to be there that early, but if we can, it'd be great. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until the next time, keep those engines running.